We're down in the lovely fishing village of Roundstone and we're going to go out on a boat to see if we can catch some fish to make some lovely goujons in the kitchen later. We've got Inishlacken Island out here, which there are no inhabitants on anymore, but up until about 25 or 30 years ago there were um, people living there. And just out here is Roundstone Bay. Yeah, you have a macro dig. On the mop to this. I have Oh, you have more! Hard work, isn't it? We're out today in Roundstone Harbour um, with John Sullivan, who's very kindly taken us out on his boat with his son James. And we've just been catching mackerel and pollock. What is the season for mackerel? They can come in in June and they can stay until September. Pollock are here all year round. They'd probably go behind deeper, uh, all right, maybe in the cold weather. Okay, we're back in the house after this morning's fishing expedition with our lovely fresh pollock and we're going to make some fish goujons, which is a favourite with our kids and it's also full of vitamins and minerals. So, we need uh, our utensils, we need a frying pan, we need a spatula and a whisk. We have two trays, one for breadcrumbs, one for flour, a bowl for eggs and a chopping board for the fish. So for ingredients, we need a tray of breadcrumbs, a tray of flour, two eggs, 500 grams of fish, just a little drop of milk, and a small bit of cooking oil. So this is our pollock that we caught this morning. Now, pollock isn't that readily available in fishmongers, so hake or haddock would be perfect for this. We need to cut it in strips of about three inches long and about a half an inch wide. Okay, now that we've got the fish ready, we're going to uh, start with the flour, egg and crumb. If you say it this way and repeat it, you'll remember in which order it needs to be. Flour, egg and crumb. And this is a great one to get all the kids involved. The kids are going to crack the eggs and then Jake is going to pour just a drop of milk in and Isol's going to whisk. When you're whisking, make sure you get the whisk into the middle of the egg. Okay? Depending on how many kids you have, you can give everyone a job with this one. Jake's going to flour, I'm going to egg, Isol's going to crumb, Milo, we leave him for a little while, and then they can swap over if they want to change jobs. don't get your hands all dirty either if you've got some helpers, so it's easier to do each job. My kids are a little too small yet for um, hot oil and frying, so I've sent them to set the table. And here we have the fish goujons, which they've helped prepare. And we're going to shallow fry them. So you want the oil to get quite hot. And then, you place your goujons in. They'll need a, at least a minute on each side, and then we can check them. So that's about a minute, so I'm going to turn them over. And they're lovely and golden brown. So 
So look at that, some lovely golden crispy fresh Pollock Goujon. And we leave them on a little bit of kitchen paper to drain. We have just a little dip for the fish goujons, which is nice and light and healthy, uh, as opposed to having mayonnaise or tomato ketchup or something like that with them. Um, two spoons of natural yogurt, about a half a clove of minced garlic, and this is smoked paprika, so it's not hot, it has a lovely smoky flavour. So just a little bit of that, you can do it to your own taste. 